Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to right rotate a string by one position. Let's say there is a string like this. And in this given string, there are few characters. Four characters are there. A is a character, R is a character, U is a character, and N is a character. Now we need to right rotate each and every character in this given string by one position to the right side guys. So what will happen when you right rotate each and every character in the given string to by one position to the right side? Simple, let's say if you talk about uh, A, A has to move to the right side. So A will be moved here, this position. Then R, what about R? R should be moving to the this position, third position. So R will be coming here. Then what about you? You should be moved to the last position. So you will be moved here. And what about n? Since there is no other element here, n will be coming to the first position. Okay. When you push this n to the right side, it will go to the first position. So n will be coming here. So what is the resultant string? After right rotating this particular string by one position, the resultant string is Naru. If you give Arun, it will become Naru. Now let's write a Java code for right rotating this string by one position. So initially the string is, original string is Arun. Before we right rotate this particular string by one position, we need to convert this string into a character array. Then only we can right rotate, guys. So let's convert this string into a character array. So there is a predefined command of string class that is to char array using which we can convert this string into a character array. You see, char array. See, I'll, I'll name this character array as CA for the mouse and create local variable. Then automatically the character array will come. Fine. So once you convert this string into given string into the character array, internally it will look like this array of four elements. First element will be the character A. Second will be, element will be the character R. Third element will be the character U. And fourth element will be the character N. Like this, four elements. We have four elements. Now, guys, uh, we need to right rotate these characters by one position. So what happens when you right rotate? So A will go to the this position. Right. Uh, so how does it happen? Like logically, how we are going to do is uh, we are not going to start with A guys. Okay. We are going to start with this U. We'll be assigning U to this N. And then R to this U. Then A to this R. But by this time, N will be gone guys. You have to save this N guys. Initially, we need to save this N and start the right rotating logic. Before you start right rotating, you need to save this last element into a variable because what happens is if you, when you start right rotating this u will be replacing n the first iteration the second iteration r will be replacing u but u is there here no need to worry about u but n is gone right when you replace this n with u n is gone you cannot get it back that's the reason we have to store it char last is equal to some variable you just create char last is equal to the last element you have to get it how to get the last element for that, let's find the size of this array, guys. In size is equal to ca dot length. This is the size of the array. In order to get the last element of any array, we have to write like this, ca of size minus one. The index will be size minus one. If there are four elements in this array, the last element will be at the index three. Understand this. If there are four elements in the array, the last element will be at the index three. That means size, total size minus one will be the index of the last element. So we have to say ca of size minus one means this n will be copied into this last variable. So n will be there in the last, n character will be there in the last variable. Done. Now let's start right rotating the elements, starting with this u. We'll be right rotating this u to the last position. So for that, what we have to do is we have to write a for loop for int starting with the last index, that is i is equal to, what is the last index in this array, guys? Total size minus one is the last index so i have to say i is equal to size minus one then i greater than or equal to zero till the first element starting from the last element last but one till the first first element index is zero so i will say i greater than or equal to zero then every time you, uh, during this iteration we have to reduce the size of the i so i have to say i minus minus this logic we have to write this for right root there is no other way now i will say ca of i is equal to Okay, C A of I means 
at present i is equal to size minus 1 that means last element last element is equal to last element minus 1 that is ca of i minus 1 we have to write the logic so now let's run this logic uh, uh, lo now let's see how this logic will work initially i is size minus 1 that is 3 3 is 3 greater than or equal to 0 yes but uh, before going forward guys before i explain this thing and all uh, this equal symbol should not be provided in this logic there is a there is a reason that this uh, equal symbol should not be provided in this logic if you provide this this code will not work okay at later point of time when the time comes while demonstrating this for loop iterations i'll explain why this equal symbol should not be provided we have to remove that at later point of time i will give the reason and then remove this equal symbol guys for now keep it as last index to the zeroth index at later point of time i will remove this equal symbol by giving you the proper reason so initially anyhow size minus 1 means 3 3 greater than or equal to 0 true or false true so i'll go inside the for loop c of 3 c of 3 means c of 3 is this one is equal to c of i minus 1 that is this one you are assigning u to the last position you are assigning u to the last position u will be coming and falling here guys after this statement what is u did c of 3 is equal to c of 2 c of 2 will be assigned to c of 3 n will be gone you see n is gone if you don't save this n here it will be a problem right at later point of time while right rotating n you will not find n anywhere that's the reason we have to store n into the last before performing this right rotation we have to store n into the last kind of variable then then you can start right rotating so you already right rotated here now i minus minus i minus minus means i will become 2 2 greater than or equal to 0 still true we'll go inside ca of 2 c of 2 means this one is equal to ca of 2 minus 1 that is c of 1 c of 2 is equal to c of 1 means this r will be moved to the right position simple okay r will be assigned to index 2 simple it will be r then uh, i will become i minus minus that is 1 1 greater than or equal to 0 still true we'll go inside c a of 1 that means c a of 1 is this one is equal to c a of 1 minus 1 that is 0 c a of 1 is equal to c a of 0 means 0 will be assigned to 1 done okay a also move to the right side now i will become 0 0 greater than or equal to 0 is true but here is a problem guys okay now the problem statement will come the condition is true you will go inside here now you are saying c, c of 0 is equal to c of minus 1 is minus 1 will be there every element will start with index 0 right 0 1 2 3 but one is a minus 1 index will be there no but here there is a possibility coming right c of i minus 1 current value of i is 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 c of minus 1 which is not possible that's the reason guys we should not be providing equal symbol here don't provide equal symbol so that you will get this kind of situation now 0 greater than 0 false will come out of the for loop no more right rotations but this particular character array is not completely right rotated as you can see a is moved to the right side r is moved to the right side u is moved to the right side but what about n n is nowhere right here n is not at all there we have to put this n in the first position how to do that for that we have to say c a of 0 is equal to the first element is equal to simply paste this assign this last okay c of 0 is equal to last that means whatever the character that we stored in this last character will be assigned to c of 0 so here n will be copied and pasted here done now the character array is fully right rotated by one position now let's print this particular character array in the form of a string there are different ways of printing this character array in, uh, in the form of a string but uh, i prefer creating a string buffer okay string buffer class create an object for the string buffer like this string buffer sb is equal to new uh, string buffer this is the best way of converting this character array into a string and print guys okay string buffer now i will create a for each loop for each and every character in, in this uh, character array how to write that in for each loop each and every character is a char data type so char character inside this character array is ca for each and every character in the character array this for each loop will iterate during that iteration what we are going to do is we are going to append we are going to call the string buffer object sb dot there is a method known as append method where we will be passing this character 
So for every iteration, the character which is taken from the character array will be appended to this string buffer. Okay, to this string buffer, the characters will be appended. Let me explain you. Like uh, in the first iteration of this for each loop, for char c column c a means this ca will check whether any elements available in the character array are not yes there are four elements so first element will be taken that is n and will be assigned to c so here n will be printed then uh, after n uh, n will be appended sorry n will be appended to the string buffer after that second iteration it will check any other characters yes three more characters left so it will take first one out of the three more characters that is a will be taken and assigned to a assigned to c uh, now c will be append c means this a will be appended to the existing string buffer text that is it will become na then again any more characters left yes that first character r r will be taken r will be appended here then uh, any more characters left yes one more character left u you will be assigned here you will be appended to this existing text now any more characters left no will come out of the for each loop by the time we come out of this for each loop the string buffer text is like this now which is nothing but the right rotated right rotated by one position this string text now let's print out the string buffer system dot out print ln simply print out the string buffer sb simply print out like this now run this code you will get the output as if you give the input as arun it will get the output as naru which is nothing but the right rotated string by one position you see so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to right rotate the given string by one position so that's it guys thank you bye